Hi guys, so I'm going to attempt to film this unboxing. Um, my next door neighbours are having their garden completely redone so it does get quite noisy so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, those who've been paying attention on my vlogs that I was doing and on my social media, I'd ordered a dye kit and some cones of yarn to start dyeing yarn and the wrong one came. Well this is the correct one so I'm going to open this one but first I'm going to show you the yarn that it came with the incorrect ones because I don't think I actually got around to putting that video out. So we have two cones of yarn, they are different ones, they're both kilograms. But this one here is the Blue Face Leicester Superwash Nylon Sock Weight and it's one kilogram of yarn obviously so it's a superwash Blue Face Leicester which is wool. So this one is that which you can see it's quite a lot. It's a little rough but I think hopefully that will um, get better as it's been dyed and washed and things but it's quite nice and then this one here is um, the Merino uh, Merino Superwash and Bamboo Sock Weight again kilograms so this is Bamboo and Merino Superwash um, again it's really quite a nice yarn this one feels quite nice too um, you will get close-ups as I do them. I've not dyed yarn before, so this is my learning curve. The wrong kit they got sent, I ended up keeping, and I've got some yarn in that one that I can um, test with before I move on to the cones. But I will show you the proper kit. So this is from World of Wool. This is where all of it's from, World of Wool. And this is the Uralana dyeing kit. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. We all know me, I say everything wrong. But it's a complete dyeing kit with 13 dyes. So inside, we should have 13 10 gram pots of mixable dyes, one of each colour that they do, which is why I wanted this kit. Um, one times a 50 milliliter wool wash, one thermometer, three puppets pipettes, I can't say them properly, uh, one glass stirring rod, one spatula, two lots of 250 milliliter measuring beakers, one pack of pH paper because you need to measure the pH on the dyeing, um, one pair of latex gloves and one dyeing instructions which I will greatly need. <laughs> so let's have a look shall we? Okay so let's get the bigger stuff out the way first. So this is obviously one of the pots. Let's take the rubbish off. Okay, so this is 500 millilitres. So I thought it was 250, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> but it's a really good pot. Um, so it looks like the second one of them is here. Yeah. So again, this goes up to 500. Um, the thing does say two lots of 250, so I'm guessing they've replaced them with 500. I don't know, but I'm not going to knock it. That's good. And they look quite thick as well. They, they feel really good and strong, so that's good. They should hopefully last quite well, but I don't know. Right, this is our glass stirring rod. So it's got this flatter end on here and then just the normal little end to a rod there. It's quite nice. Um, this will come in very handy from the videos I've been watching. It's really good to be able to move things around without having to use your fingers. Okay, so obviously latex gloves, nothing goes without saying. Okay, so this is the 50 mils of the wool wash. Um, hopefully the instructions will tell me how much I need per thing. So I, I don't know because this is all new to me, but that's quite cool. Um, this is the thermometer. Um, let me see how we open this up, shall we? Oh. It's coming slowly. I don't want to pull it too hard and then send it flying because it's glass. So we're just easing along. There we go. Ah, that's helpful. So it tells me where to immerse it in the line, but you know, just your basic thermometer. This is a nice glass one. It looks very nice. And I actually quite like the little holder that it's gave. The other um, 
kit had a glass thermometer, but it was just in plastic wrapping, not this. So I actually really like this. Um, this is the spatula, so we've got the flat end and the spoon. So I guess you use whichever you feel more comfortable with. Here's the pH tapes. So 10 books or 20 strips per book. So you can see the 10 in there. Um, and little guide so we know what we need to go to. This um, will be really helpful for me because again, I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna learn along the way. Um, oh, I actually have three pipette, pipettes, whatever you call them, you know, they've got the little measurings on there, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, so that's cool. The other kit that was the wrong one also had one of these in, so I now have four of them, which is brilliant. Um, okay, so I think just these guys, so... This is information, so good tells me everything I need to know on how to use it, which is going to be really helpful. There's one more little leaflet down here, and then we'll go through the actual ties. So, yeah, so that's just some more instructions. I like instructions. So, let's get these all out, and then I can go through each colour with you. Oop, if I don't drop them everywhere first. It's a good job these are plastic and not um, China, isn't it? I'm not China glass. If I drop the glass at the we'd be in trouble. There we go. Okay, so there should be 13 here. Shall we have a look? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 13. And the kit that was the wrong one also came with three which is red blue and yellow so I've actually now got two of them so we'll do those ones first uh, okay so and due to the other kit I have these ones first so this is the red um, it's got instructions on the side which is really helpful because otherwise as we all know I don't know what I'm doing and um, these are all 10 grams but they will dye quite a lot of yarn I believe each 10 grams size a kilogram, I think it was. I don't know if it says. Shall we have a look? Um, quick scan. I'm not seeing it, but we can scan some more. Yeah, no. But I think each one does a kilogram. I'll have to check online again but so obviously the red this is the blue we'll see these more as I use them I'm really sorry if that's interfering the noise I don't know what they're currently doing doesn't sound like they're not cutting up anything anymore they're doing something else who knows but so this is the bright yellow and then we have soft yellow so that looks to be a very different, I don't know if you can see the different pigment colours, they are very different. So that's going to be really interesting to see how these yellows come up. Then we've got navy, which obviously is blue and compared to, compared to this blue, they are also very different pigments. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they come up like. And then we have green, which is quite a dark colour there, but again, until I use it, I don't know what colour it's going to come out as. Turquoise, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this comes out, because this does look pretty. I like turquoise things. And then we have a violet, again, I'm looking forward to seeing how this one comes up, so that's going to be really good. Grey, I don't know how much grey I'm going to use. Um, but I do like grey, but I also am planning on doing a lot of bright colours, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, orange. Again, the pigment's quite red in this, so it might be more of a red orange. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh. Magenta. Again, the pigment's quite dark, but I'm hoping, looking at this, it will come out quite bright. Um, I don't know, because it's the first time using them, so we're all going to learn, aren't we? And then we've got brown, 
which of course is quite a dark pigment and the final one we got is black and again I don't know how much black I'm going to use but I do like black so it might be that I could do one skein or so with some black in it I don't know we'll see but I can I don't know if these will all lay down for you to see because they're probably just going to roll around everywhere but we can try really hope you can hear me over that noise we will try to edit it out but who knows and, and violet okay so we have black brown magenta orange soft yellow green navy gray bright yellow turquoise blue red and violet so I'm really looking forward to see how this goes. I will film me doing some of these. Um, you could see me learn and possibly mess it up and then what mistakes not to do for yourself. Um, but I'm really happy with this kit. This kit was $39.99 and I think that's a really good price with everything that comes with it. So I mean, you've got 13 dies and then you've got two beakers three puppets, you've got your spatula, your glass thermometer, your glass stirring rod, your pH strips and your wall wash. So I think that's a really good price for everything you get for um, £40. What do you think? Um, yeah it says on here £39.99 so I'm going to pack it all back in here so that I don't lose any of it when I transfer it to my shelf. I do have a shelf already set up for all of this to go on, so I'll transfer into that later. Um, but I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? Um, if any of you guys already dye yarn, feel free to give me any hints, tips and ideas, because I'm going to need it all. But this is going to be fun. That's it. It's all back in the box. That might be a first. I'm actually getting back in the box for once. Normally, when I do these things, I can squash things back in. <laughs> so, I'll turn over again so you can see the kits. There we go. So, excuse me, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said, give a comment down below if you know any good tips about for those of us who are complete beginners I've only ever watched YouTube videos never done anything like this myself so it's going to be really good fun um, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can see what I end up doing with all this until later see ya bye